Welcome to 98.5 All Elite Sports Talk. Today we have some topics here that we need to discuss. So first of all, we have World Series favorites. Who's going to win the World Series? We're going to talk about that. Second of all, we have the controversy surrounding Bill Belichick and how he has not put out a roster yet for his coaches. So, but let's start with World Series favorites. Avery, what do you think? I think, um, uh... Um, the um, the Yankees are the um, uh, um, favorite. Um, uh, the, um, everybody's been contributing. Uh, their pitching's been good, and I I I think they have a good shot. Okay, and Josh, what do you think? I think the Dodgers will make it all the way and win the World Series because uh, the Yankees might have one more win, but they have two uh two more losses than the Dodgers. And the, the Dodgers have a superstar like Mookie Betts and everybody else, so that's my. Opinion. See, guys, I like your opinions, but I need to go with someone else. I need to go with the Houston Astros. They're just a stacked team, all around. I know they don't have the best record right now, but they, as I said, they are stacked. The one thing though is they've been to three World Series in the last couple of years, and they've only won one and they cheated. So how do you think they're gonna do? We have a caller who is going to call in, I think, in a second. She told me she was going to call. Oh, here she is. Hello? How do you feel about Houston losing all the time? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say all the time, but usually it. I wouldn't say they lose all the time. They haven't lost that much in the past couple weeks. But every time they go to the series, they lost. So why do you think they're going to win this time? Hmm? Because they have a good With, team. Without cheating? Huh? Okay. Without... Here's the thing. I'm going to stand up for Alex Cora here. This is going to be a controversial thing. Did they cheat? Yes, they cheated. But who was cheated? It... Yeah, but was it around something that was illegal? No. They stole the signs, and they told the players what it was going to be. Stealing signs has been part of baseball for hundreds of years. No, they didn't. But, but cheating is cheating. I know. And I'm not saying they didn't cheat. I'm saying that they stole signs and found a way to give players I, I, what pitch it was. They I'm do a, that I'm anyway. A, I'm going to have to agree with her. Really? Yeah. You're going to agree with this caller who we've never met. Yeah. You don't even know if she's legit. She could be a bot <laughs> on a phone thing you really believe that yeah I, I i i believe this apparently bought on a phone okay um okay we need to go to the next topic thank you for your opinion but i disagree okay so okay so our next thing is surrounding bill belichick he has not come out with his roster for the coaches yet the only thing we do know is that there's no defensive coordinator no offensive coordinator yet and what we do know is Joe Judge has been named the linebacker, not the linebacker, the quarterback coach, and Matt Patricia is the offensive line coach. So what's confusing me about this is why are they moving this incredible defensive coordinator who's played for the team, or coached for the team, and moving them to an offensive coach? Avery, what do you think about this? I think, um, I think that um, Bill, um, Bill, um, uh, Bill um, Belichick um, um, is... Um, af- uh, uh, afraid to um, uh, um, to, to, to get to give um, them contracts, um, uh, um, because he doesn't want to pay them. Mm-hmm. Okay, Josh. I feel like Matt Patricia should be defensive coordinator because he has experience as a coach. That's true. And here's the thing: Matt Patricia was a head coach in Detroit, so he knows how to play offense, defense, and head coach. But right now. He is a defensive coordinator for the Patriots. So, he and he always has been, really. So, I don't know why they're making him an offensive coach here when they could take Joe Judge, who wasn't a phenomenal coach, but knows more terrible. about offense. <laughs> exactly, he wasn't terrible. But he knows more about offense than Matt Patricia does. I so, agree. there's I, just some controversy behind this, and we're not going to know it yet, so... I think... We need to stay tuned about that. I think... Um, and this is... But yeah, I think um that that um 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 Bill Bel- Belichick um well I I don't think I think that Mac 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 Jones just is a is a um um uh, 
is, is running Frank. his running backs and receivers are are terrible getting open. Draw the, 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 there's some reason why he wasn't throwing it up the field, and it wasn't because of the coach. It was because his running backs and receivers suck. That's not true. See, here's the thing with them. They have talent on both sides of the ball. See, on defense, they have they have Jack Jones, they have Judon, they have Josh Uche. On on offense, they have Kendrick Bourne, they have Tyquan Thornton, who they just brought in. They have all these guys, including Damian Harrison and Ramondre Stevenson, who we don't even know who's won the starting job for them yet. So, we're just going to need to keep posted. This is the time we have for today. Thank you for tuning in to 98.5 All Elite Sports Talk Radio. See you tomorrow.